Hey friends, this is Josh Hayward and welcome to another edition of the Find Your Craft Show. We are continuing our Founders Brewing Series with one of my favorite episodes of all time and I know I haven't even recorded it yet, but I'm so incredibly excited for this episode. I love doing these videos, but I've really, really, really been looking forward to this one uh, featuring KBS on the Find Your Craft Show this week. Um, I actually have two versions of KBS, one from 2017 last year, and then one from 2018 this year, of course. Um, but was able to grab 2017's version last year and just cellared it, let it sit there. Uh, never really felt the need or want to crack it open. Well, I wanted to crack it open, but figured I'd just wait. And I'm glad that I did because when 2018 came out, I said, hey, I'll do them side by side, kind of compare and contrast. And a neat thing was I got a couple uh, of the 2018 version. So next year I'll do 2018 and 2019 together and so on and so forth. But special thanks to my friend Julie who was able to snag these 2018 versions for me. But uh, yeah, really looking forward to this beer. This is KBS, uh, the Kentucky Breakfast Stout. This one, and I'm looking for the stats, guys. I don't even, I don't even see the stats on here. How bad is that that I did not even prepare that? Uh, but this, this is KBS, the highly acclaimed Kentucky Breakfast Stout, part of Founders Brewing's Barrel Age series. They do several releases of this throughout the year. Uh, KBS usually comes out in March, uh, I believe. It, it is uh, the end of May now, and uh, they did recently released a, a rum barrel age type beer. Uh, had kind of a pirate theme or whatever. But yeah, really looking forward to this beer. I love stouts. Um, love just the complexity that comes with them, the different types of flavors and aromas that are present. And then when you start, you know, barrel aging these things, they take on just a plethora of other flavors. So without further ado, let's get after it. I'm going to take a look at the 2018 version first. This is the freshest one, and then we'll try the 2017, and then do a little compare and contrast. So uh, let's see what we got. Look at that. Wow. Look at that beer, guys. Goodness gracious, what a beautiful beer. Black as night, as I like to describe some of these stouts. A nice tan head on this beer. Uh, I'd say about a centimeter there. Um, it's kind of sitting there, kind of staying, not, not shrinking, not growing, nothing like that. Just kind of staying there. Um, kind of a newer type beer. Uh, but yeah, just, just black straight through, as you would expect from a stout. Um, completely opaque, no lights coming through that at all, giving a little bit more of a swirl. Um, that head darkens a little bit and uh, kind of thickens up, but uh, let's see what we've got as far as the aromas go. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm thinking uh, toasted burnt bread, thinking uh, hints of caramel, hints of toffee, uh, molasses, um, chocolate, uh, I think dark chocolate, like dark chocolate you would cook with. Um, and then a little bit of a boozy characteristic, courtesy of uh, the, the, uh, the bourbon barrel, the bourbon barrel aging. Uh, a little bit of uh, a bourbon, bourbon note there, um, a little bit of alcohol in the, on the nose. Uh, but yeah, just a very, very nice uh, aromatic beer, I should say. I, should, I was almost gonna say flavorful, but that doesn't make sense. A nice aromatic beer. Lots going on here. Really looking forward to trying it. Without further ado, cheers to Founders and cheers to the Kentucky Breakfast Stout. Wow. Wow. Um, it is everything they say it is. Highly acclaimed for sure. Um, first sip. The thing that hits me as soon as I take a sip is the alcohol in this beer. And I'm really sad uh, that I could not give you the stat on that. I don't see it anywhere on the beer. Um... Yeah, I don't see it anywhere on the beer, but that's the first thing that hits the palate is that alcohol flavor. Kind of coating the palate in a way. If you've ever drank um, scotch or whiskey um, or uh, you know, anything like, uh, any type of uh, alcohol or spirit like that, um, you know that some of that, uh, that alcohol flavor, some of that flavor kind of coats the tongue. I'm getting a little bit of that there. 
I'm getting nice malty notes of dark chocolate, uh, hints of vanilla, I would say, um, a little bit of molasses sweetness there, even a little bit of coffee and espresso, just lots and lots going on here. Nothing as far as the hops go, which is to be expected. Um, hops are specifically used kind of just on the, uh, kind of in the background, a bittering agent um, for some of these stouts. But uh, mainly the malts are highlighted here. Uh, dark, 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 uh, toasted, almost like burnt bread, burnt toast, uh, as far as the malts go. Uh, and then, as I mentioned, uh, some caramel, some toffee, um, dark chocolate. I'm even getting some light hints of vanilla, um, which is nice. Very nice, subtle sweetness there. Heavy on the alcohol throughout. The alcohol kind of hits um, as soon as the, the, the liquid hits the palate and uh, lasts throughout. Um, but yeah, very, very flavorful beer here. Lots and lots going on. This is definitely a sipper, something that you would take your time with and enjoy. Just really savor all of the amazing uh, flavors and aromas here, but a very, very solid KBS 2018 stout here. Very good. On to the 2017. I would expect this one um, to be very similar. Um, however, with the aging process, maybe some of those flavors have had an opportunity to develop. Uh, maybe some of that alcohol booziness will be uh, muted or uh, dialed back down a little bit. We'll see. So this is a 2017 version. We will see what we've got. Very similar, as you would expect. A bit of a spill there. It's all right. Very similar, as you would expect. Black as night. Again, uh, just same color there. Completely opaque. You can't see through it at all. I can see my reflection in the glass though, that is for sure. Again, kind of a tan head there. I'm going to give it a little swirl. Um, the, the head on that 2018 version lasted longer after the pour. Um, give it this one a little swirl, livening it up a centimeter and a half or so. Again, um, kind of a tan head there, but very, very similar beer. Looks exactly the same, comparison's sake. Um, as as you would expect, both KBS is a different different year, different year, one year older than the other. Let's see what we've got on the nose. Kind of prominent chocolate and coffee on this one. I'm gonna compare. I think the aromas are a little more richer on the 2017 version. Uh, again, getting a little bit of booziness on the nose. Not as much as I got as soon as I poured that one, but still some booziness on the nose. Uh, burnt bread, um, molasses, coffee, dark chocolate. Yeah, very, very similar. Um, I can't wait to try them, and then I'm gonna try them side by side. But uh, yeah, the nose is very similar. If anything, I would say some of these uh, flavors have developed a little bit more. Yeah from a little swirl. This video is going to run a little longer, but I expected it to, comparing these two amazing beers. Yeah, these, these, the, the flavors and uh, flavors, the aroma seem more richer in this beer. As to be expected, it's had a year to develop. Um, those flavors really marry, kind of mellow out. Um, certain ones become more prominent than the other, vice versa, etc., etc. Without further ado, let's see what we've got. 2017 KBS. Cheers. Oh, wow. As I expected, the alcohol booziness is dialed way back on that one. Um, I'm able to experience um, more depth of the flavors, more depth of the toffee, the caramel, the molasses, the dark chocolate, um, co uh, coffee, um, uh, even, even again, that vanilla, nice sweetness in there. And then the, uh, the bourbon or the barrel aging characteristic uh, kind of serves as a compliment, really. Kind of just wraps all of those flavors up and presents them. A um, little more harsh, a uh, little more harsh on the 2018 version. Much more muted, much more refined, much more presentable in the 28, uh, 2017 version. Again, side by side comparison. Yeah, for sure. Quick, quick taste. 
mainly mainly alcohol in this. You've really got to you've you've got to sift through that to get the other excellent KBS flavors there. Here, they are just put on display. Um, really sitting on the platform. Um, again, nice burnt bread, toasted bread, uh, light hints of caramel and toffee. Uh, the, this little bit of vanilla sweetness in there, uh, dark chocolate, um, molasses, coffee, just amazing stout type flavors in here. And uh, I love this beer. This is a great beer. If you give me a bottle of KBS, I wanted a year older or more. Um, really wish I had 2016 version to compare to really see, um, see how much more the, those flavors and aromas change. Um, but yeah, give me the 2017 version on this one. Not taking anything away from 2018. Uh, we will visit this one again next year. I've got a 2018 version cellaring right now. Uh, we will compare it side by side with the 2019 next year. But uh, yeah, these, these stouts, these barrel aged stouts, barrel aged beers, um, the aging really serves them well. Really gives it uh, the beer an opportunity to really develop. Um, you get a, a nice, uh, you get a nice booziness and a nice alcohol, in this case, bourbon flavor here. But uh, over time, um, that's able to settle out a little bit, um, able to really present the flavors more so than overpower them. Um, so uh, definitely the, the aged version, I would, give, I would give the win on this one. But cheers to Founders. KBS lives up to the hype year in, year out. Um, glad to finally be a part of it. Again, this is the first time I've ever tried KBS, so you guys got to experience it with me. Thank you so much for following along. I really do appreciate it. If you love craft beer, if you love what you saw, please press that little subscribe button in the bottom corner. I would really, really appreciate it. If you got any comments, questions, suggestions, thoughts on KBS, thoughts on barrel-aged beers, leave a comment there. I would love to uh, discuss it with you. Uh, barrel aging is kind of becoming its own thing now. Uh, lots of breweries are doing it. Lots of breweries are doing some amazing things. A uh, little uh, shout out to my friends at Noda Brewing. Got a nice barrel age program right now with uh, the Monstro Stout. Um, I'd love to maybe drink Monstro side by side with one of these uh, one of these KBSs. That would be great. Uh, but yeah, great beer here. Thank you so much for following along. You guys have an amazing day and cheers.